Hi everyone, a pleasant day to you all. My name is Nageshwari Lochan Prashad, better known as Kamal Prasad, and I am the Vice Chairperson of Region Number no. 7, Kayuni Mazaruni. Today, as the world joins with us in celebrating International Women's Day, it gives me privilege to be able to speak with you on gender equality and as we recognize this year as breaking the bias. For me, becoming a leader in my township was not as challenging as it might be for many others because the support and the examples set out by the women before me may pave the way and I must thank those women that has gone before breaking the barriers, breaking the bias, and especially using their voices to speak out against inequality and to finding a place at the head table where decisions are being made. It is quite a privilege for me to be a part of the great table where we sit to make decisions that would impact the lives of every single one. As a woman, it took a lot to be able to fight for gender equality, for breaking the bias, especially in a male-dominated field of politics. Speaking out has been one of my greatest strengths. And I believe when we see disadvantages or things that are not right within our communities, it is our responsibility to speak out, to bring awareness to these issues. As mothers and sisters and daughters, we must continue to use our voices against the inequality simply which begins from the home where women in many cases are being treated unfairly. In the workplace where women face sexual harassment and many other forms of discrimination and disadvantages. So today as the world celebrates this International Women's Day, let us not forget the women in our public service, the women that are single mothers, our teachers, our nurses, our doctors, our police officers, who are all working towards breaking the bias and having gender equality globally within the workplace, within our communities. We celebrate each and every one of you, and we thank you for your service, your dedication, your commitment. Women all across the world make great leaders because we care about our families, our environment, our communities, and we lead with love. So today, hats off to you ladies, and I say many, many congratulations. Continue to raise your voices so together we can break the bias.